15 billion admin related questions for you. I don't want any admin questions. Oh, Leave sure, me alone. I'm sure you don't. But unfortunately, as, as Supreme Leader Mark the Barbarian, <laughs> you do have to take certain responsibilities. No, 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 no. Oh, Reluctant yes, yeah. manager. That's me. You change your title every bloody day. I like Mark the Barbarian. I like Mark the Barbarian. <laughs> <gasps> right, let's see how many times I can mess this up. It always helps when you press record, doesn't it? <laughs> Can't be a vlogger if you don't press the record button. But do you know what I ate more than towing expensive things? Towing two expensive things. Welcome back to Micro Maintenance. This week has been Flex Wing Nuts. Welcome to Wing Nuts, home of micro maintenance. <laughs> okay, so this week has been yet another, I know I say this every week, but this week has been yet another crazy, crazy week here at Micro Maintenance. Um, it's gone flex wing crazy. We just spent the entire week clearing our workshop. We knew we got some aircraft coming in and then literally on one day, two emergency cases rolled in. Um, we'll get on to those later um, so we had the nightmare that Shelly was off last week so fortunately Shelly was back this week yay so straight back into finishing off Al Bumbley Al Bumbley was in for a, a permit inspection 100 hour of service we also changed the Lord mounts uh, which you probably saw on last week's episode uh, so first job for Shelly was getting back in and tuning those carbs um, so this is my second attempt at trying to do the carb balance on it. Um, had a go at it last time and it was doing some strange things that I've never really seen before. Um, I had it set nice and balanced and running absolutely lovely and ended up with the carburettors and the Bowden cable adjusters all visually looking how they should. So visually it looked mechanically balanced and I've got, I used the carb mate at the moment and um, pneumatically it was running in balance and that was at like two, two and a half thousand RPM, running lovely. And then in the time that it took me to turn around, go to my tools and come back again, it had taken itself completely out of balance and was throwing fuel everywhere. Quickly adjusted this here. Shelly has told me we'll tighten up this cable here and we'll allow the left hand carburetor to operate at the same speed as the other one, hopefully giving us balance. Let's see. So there is one visual cue we've been given by Shelley to see if carburettors are out of balance. And that will be, if we are looking from the front, when it's running, we'll see the surfaces of this one and this one just here. If they are juddering up and down, we are out of kilter. Fantastic to get that out of the way. We also needed to weigh the aircraft um and get that all paperwork all squared away remember it's all about the paperwork but that once that was out of the way it meant that we were able to drop on this beauty now there was a fair amount that we were doing on this particular aircraft if you remember it this is the black gt450 and look what we've done to it look at those engine decals so anyway this one was having a uh, a wing strip inspection so at the start of the week both myself and brendan we got stuck into our first wing strip of the week good morning well we are doing a wing strip inspection of this gt450 mm -hmm. uh here is we work using the illustrated parts catalog and we spotted some parts yesterday that we're just making a note of it so um parts that need to be replaced as in 
they're either damaged or rusty. Uh, and what we're going to try and do today, hopefully, we should be able to do it. We've done one or two now, haven't we? I'm sure we will succeed. <laughs> so we're going to get the uh, the main tubes out of uh, the skin. Then we're going to give it a full inspection, uh, check the straightness of tubes, um, check things like nuts, washers that are all there, and more importantly, in the correct orientation. It's very easy when you re-rig these that they're put back uh, in the wrong position. So we're just going to work our way through and uh, take it from there. I'm just taking a look into the internals of this wing and we've noticed that this bolt in here is supremely corroded. <laughs> well the wing's out, or the frame's out of the wing and then we can get our first eyes on all of the tubes and now what we're going to do is work away from uh, the tips all the way to the nose, just checking every single bolt. Going well, um, rusty bolt um, with penetrating oil and stuff has come out uh, really well and just gradually start coming my way around the wing. Awesome. Not ideal. So it's nice to get that one out of the way and we also had a few little nice detailing that we wanted to do. One of the things was this lovely tinted windscreen and I can't help myself but go and stick a logo on there to. so it was nice to get that uncovered. <laughs> tinted windscreen. Which is, that was fantastic that was nice to get done. Uh, the wing unfortunately is a few parts so those have been ordered uh, and again me and part numbers and technology never get on so we had a, uh, uh, a small session ordering some part. Uh, uh, basically nuts, bolts, castle nuts all load bearing parts that when your wing's done a thousand hours you want to change them <laughs> so yes the downside is what it says how many we need endless amounts of uh, part numbers and cross-referencing it with the exploded diagrams to make sure we do have the right part numbers fortunately the only thing i've got left that doesn't hurt or broken is my eyesight so we're all right so hopefully we can get the aircraft all back together next week uh, so we can get that back out to the owner uh, for a, another safe flying season. So we had a visitor pop in and this was great to, uh, the, the first thing, this, he had an electrical issue with this plane and his first thoughts were, I'll take it to micro maintenance. So in he flew on Sunday, uh, screaming that his electrics had all gone down and there was a fault. Now, if anyone's ever done on any electrical fault finding, it can turn into a bit of a nightmare. So that sounded like a great job for our Mr. Flex, Brandon, and he got stuck into that one. Heaps of joy. <laughs> um, okay, so we've um, checked out the wiring today and we've uh, checked, uh, well, we've been charging the battery over the last couple of days. So it's had a, a good trickle charge. And uh, we've put the battery back in now. Uh, Reconnected all the uh, air pipes behind the dashboard, put the dashboard together. New bolts in the top because uh, they were a little bit different to standard. Um, and the next step is to um, run the plane up and make sure that it uh, is charging. Um, I think there's a rectifier problem, so we're going to vary in different RPMs just to get the different amperages through. Um, and the battery's just not charging. Could be a faulty battery that's just not retaining its charge, uh, more likely being the rectifier. So we're going to let the engine cool down, stick the battery on charge overnight, see if it retains its voltage. Next thing, look at these lovely PBs. How fantastic is it to have two? under wraps brand spanking new never been flown we have a pb and have an, we have an adam uh, it was great to there so i popped down with michelle we went and picked these up from flylight which in my opinion is mecca and who did we bump into giles of all people giles fowler off of his youtube channel golf fox 22 don't forget to click his subscribe button so anyway we got these loaded up and got these back and i'm looking forward to next week getting these uh, covers off getting all the parts, getting these trikes assembled, ready for the new owners. So yeah, looking forward, nice bit of uh, niceties there to go forward. 
more advancements on Adams, and I keep screaming about how beautiful this aircraft is. Look how nice it is. Me and Daniel, we got this wing rigged yesterday, uh, got it back on its trike, so hopefully we can go into the flight testing phase. Some of you may have seen that Alan made a, uh, a custom bracket for our Tiggy uh, and the fuel flow computer uh, and the motor monitor, so that's all now installed. But if you ever wonder what, what kind of a company we are, look at the yellow edging. Why would you not do that? Exactly, that's stunning. So yeah, nice little detail in there. We've been doing sneak previews. I'll start that one again. So we've been doing sneak previews of our custom Ninja. And again, we showed you the outside, we showed you the inside, we showed you the engine. But one of the things that we've kind of been covered up uh, was the electric side. And again, my OCDs can be quite bad, but check out the electrics and the wiring on there. Very complex wiring, but bizarrely, very easy to follow. We've even done things like separating uh, the electrical system. So we have main fuse, we have the lighting bus, we have the auxiliary bus. Uh, again, color coding for the uh, avionics. And literally, if it's red, it's power. If it's black, it's earth, blue, signal leads. Why would you not do that? That's, uh, that's uh, yeah, my OCD is right there. And here we have Ben. Hello. Apparently Ben's been working all this week. Here we see the natural obsessive compulsive disorder in this natural habit. <laughs> You're a funny man, aren't you? Mark? <laughs> I have my moments. So Ben's been spending all this week. What have you been doing this week? Good question. That really. that is the correct answer. <laughs> that is the correct answer. Engineering's been busy. Here we have uh, our. our I want to say senior team, but you'll go hurt me for it. Here we have Alan and Alan. These are the guys that actually do all the hard work around here. We just swan around pretending we're important. So mm -hmm. Alan and Alan have been uh, working away for us this week in our secret upstairs lair, which you've not yet been upstairs to. So uh, yeah. we say thank you to them. More Luke harnesses have arrived as well. So they're going out to some customers. So that'd be nice to see those fitted. One of the jobs that Alan and Alan have been working on, and you can hear the echo, it's all been plastered in here, is getting our custom workshop. So everything that was on the outside has now come to the inside, so we get all the skirting done. We're currently debating on what workbench I want in here. Bizarrely, they don't want to listen to my advice. They're gonna do what they want. Personally, I can't wait to get a workbench in here. Uh, so we can start using this workshop. But yes, finally, the workshop's coming together. What else have we been up to? Well, uh, I've been having a little bit of OCDs on my toolboxes. So you can see where I'm going on there. Ben caught me in the act because that's his thing. <laughs> <laughs> so my OCDs, I have terrible OCDs, but hey, it works. Another aircraft that came in to us on Sunday was this Tanarg. Now this Tanarg um, has had varying um, things done to it over its time. We're not gonna be setting any work on this for the next week or so, just because we've got a backlog on other aircraft, uh, but it's being stored in here until we drop onto it. So this one should be a nice project over the next coming weeks. We've got varying engine, airframe and modifications but i did have a uh, a long conversation with rob at the bmea just to get some history on the aircraft just so we know what we're walking into because uh, there's a lot of sign offs on this both myself and alan are going to be crawling over this plane um the gtr for some reason i called it a quick uh, no a quantum gtr last week I could, obviously the quantum gtr doesn't exist however that would be quite cool p m if you're listening Qu quantum gtr yeah, I quite like the idea. Anyway, this is a quick GTR, in for a permit. Um, but one of the first things we knew we needed to get into was the wing strip. So this was our second wind, wing strip, easy for me to say again. This was our second wing strip of the week. Uh, so Brendan started on this, just going through its preliminary inspection. inspection. So we uh, lay the aircraft down, we do a good external inspection, just making sure that everything's doing what it should be, and really just getting an eyes on. Uh, we ran out of time unfortunately so then uh, both myself and Alan dropped on that uh, and started getting the um, the wing out of its bag. This is a GTR 
wing, uh, which is topless wing, and um, <coughs> what we've got is um, some brackets that fit to the leading edge. And initial observations um, raise alarm bells, uh, to be honest, because we've got different distances between these brackets. We've got this bracket, which is uh, leaning in quite a lot. This edge of the bracket is leaning over to the left, so I think that's an area we'll have to have a closer look. So here's something that we're finding more and more regular. See these? That should be threaded yep. from there. Look at that, stripped. Look inside. See where the thread should be, and the threads no longer are. So that's just got very little purchase. It doesn't fill you with confidence, does doesn't it? Fill you with confidence now. So we've got the um, the frame out of uh, the skin, which is always a lovely a lovely challenge and a nice rewarding feeling when that happens. Um, and straight away we spotted some damage. Now this is caused by a de-rigging issue. So if you come have a look at these brackets here, you might have seen them better here. See how that one's got a nice bend on it there? So that's, that's not good. If you come have a look at the other side, this one's even worse. See we've got a kink there. Unfortunately, and these are magna rivets. Has if anyone's ever drilled out any magna rivets? So it looks like they're gonna have to be um, changed, which is frustrating for the owner, frustrating for you actually, Ben, because no doubt you'll be forced with that. So yes, we're just carrying on, like I say, initial inspections. It's always great to see what's going on with these, even just things like tape, uh, color tape that's being used should be red on one side, green on another. We found a bit of red tape on the wrong side. Once it was out, we could start inspecting the uh, uh, the wing, looking at more of its major component parts. And unfortunately, it looks like there's been quite a fair bit of damage. Uh, and although the parts list for this particular aircraft isn't huge, the parts that are required are quite expensive. So um, there's a conversation there to be had with the owner yet. Uh, so don't mention it. Um, and also, again, we need to find out the availability of parts um, just so we can get this aircraft back in, but there's going to be a bit more of a story on this uh, quick GTR. Anyway. Yes? Hurry up. <laughs> so, another crazy week here at Micro Maintenance um, and at Wing Nuts. Uh, we hope you're enjoying our walk arounds. Uh, we hopefully should have uh, some more specials coming for you uh, our way. We've certainly earmarked a few more. Crazy on how our Sky Ranger special uh, went down uh, well. Um, so yeah, we're going to look at doing some more specific things. I know we're looking at doing some rigging and de-rigging of wings. Um, I want to do a Adam versus a PB comparison. Uh, we are also going to do a 100 hour Rotax engine um, service uh, how-to video. So yeah, lots going on here at wing nuts anyway hope you enjoyed it feel free to leave a comment in the section below don't forget to click that subscribe button and until next week i'll see you again